All right guys, straight up, I'm gonna tell you in this video to watch more content and you'll see what I mean by the end. And I promise that the advice in this video is what has brought me so far in my self improvement journey and how it's going to help you as well. So as you may have seen in my videos before, if you've watched my videos, you would see that like I cut out basically all social media. Cutting out social media was basically the first thing I did in my self improvement journey. And it did me wonders. I had so much more free time. It was unbelievable. I just cut out social media and my free time just went up drastically. And I felt like I was so much more productive, wasn't wasting as much time and could do a lot more things. The point that I'm at right now, I'm actually going back to watching like more content on stuff and not exactly like scrolling through Instagram, watching like a bunch of like meaningless videos or a bunch of like little like short tip videos. I've been going just using YouTube, but watching full length videos, like full length podcasts on people that are very disciplined human beings like David Goggins. I've also been watching a lot of um, Hamza, a lot of his longer videos, if you know who he is. Hamza's a fantastic YouTuber. I've learned a lot from him. But what I've been learning is that watching these full length videos have been doing me so much better than watching like short TikToks, even if they're like TikToks on like motivation on like, or like how to become more disciplined or stuff. I noticed that when you watch like these shorter videos, you don't quite get the same knowledge as you do when you watch a longer one. Watching the shorter ones, I would get like motivation. I'd get quick motivation, I'd say. I'd say that like, when the video was quick, I would only be motivated or disciplined enough to do things for like a short amount of time and then I'd completely forget it. Whereas when I watched the longer videos, I seem to notice that the effect of that video lasted much longer because there's just so much more information embedded into it and it's something that like takes up like more room in your mind so that you think about it longer. Watching these longer videos about like self-improvement, about like how to find success, how to make money, these kinds of videos that I've been watching that are like super long, they've actually been making a real difference in my life. Now the shorter videos that I used to watch on YouTube and TikTok and all that kind of stuff, they were, they were good but they never really had a lasting effect on my life. I would watch them and then like a couple days later, I'd be in the exact same place as I was now. But now I'm watching podcasts or even people just talking for like an hour straight about something really good, some really good information. And my knowledge, my attention span, all that stuff is going up like crazy. Basically, I just wanna say to watch longer videos. And also in addition to that, start reading. I know this is gonna sound like, oh, reading, blah, blah. read, read, trust me, bro. I hated reading so much. Like I've said before, I believe you can program your brain to like anything, honestly. I, th I, I honestly think it's possible, man. Like all the things that I hated doing before, I like them now, bro. I like waking up early. I like, I like reading. I like taking the time out of my day to make YouTube videos and work out and all this stuff. Like I did not like enjoy doing these things. I could not stay consistent with these things. And I even enjoy like eating. No, I'm still working on the diet thing, you know, but I'm doing pretty good for the most part on that. But I'm, but yeah, I, I totally believe that you can make your minds like anything. If you like do it enough or you dedicate it to your life enough or make a good habit out of it. That is something I've truly discovered that you can make yourself like anything. Honestly, I don't know how you feel about that, but that's what I've discovered. All right, let's get back to the whole podcast thing. While I'm watching podcasts, you don't have to do this, but I actually have like a, my journal by my side and whenever I'm hearing like really good information, like really good ideas, I just write that shit down, man. Like I just write, I just write it down. And when I write stuff down, it like kind of stays in my brain better. Even if I don't like read it over again, it like, it's kind of like that muscle mind connection kind of thing. Like when you write something down, you kind of like remember it better. I don't know if that works for you, but like it kind of works for me. But yeah, I'd be, I'd be writing this stuff down. Like while I'm watching the video, I just like pause it real quick after I hear like a really good point and I just write it down. But start watching podcasts on things that you're like really interested in. Like if you're interested in self-improvement, this kind of stuff, which I assume you are, if you're watching this video, then watch like a long podcast video on something that's like, that you're interested in. It might be boring at first, trust me. You're probably gonna be like 20 minutes in to like a two hour podcast and you're just gonna be like, yeah, I'm bored of this. But I'm telling you, stick with it 20, like even if your attention spans 20 minutes, watch it for 20 minutes, pause it, like save the time and then come to it like the next day or something like that. And then watch a little bit more, like just watch like 20 minutes at a time, then maybe next time 25 minutes, 30 minutes until eventually your attention span like returns to normal or to how it should be. And then you'll be able to watch these full length podcasts easy, 
Easy. And I'm telling you, bro, like when, when you're fully engaged, you're fully watching these things, these podcasts, they're life changing. They're truly life changing. Like you will, your brain will literally like change in real time. Something that I wanted to add that I probably should have said earlier because it's a point that I should have gotten across. It's a, it's a very important point, but I should have said something earlier. But basically, people are always saying like, if you're watching something, you're watching something like educational, but you don't apply it to your life. Like it's kind of a waste of time. And this is something that I disagree with because even if obviously the best case scenario, you'd be using the things that you're learning in these videos and applying them to real life. But even if you're not applying them to your life, your brain, when you watch things like your brain like forms new neurons, like new connections, all that kind of stuff. And so even if you're not taking action, if you continue to watch these like self-improvement, like podcasts, like may maybe some of my videos, I'm not saying you have to watch my videos. I'm just saying you watch more self-improvement type stuff. Even if you're not taking the action, if you're like constantly watching this stuff, studying it like every single day, even if you're not taking action, your brain will still like kind of change and you'll change your way of thinking and then eventually like you'll be so your brain will be so into that self-improvement thing that eventually you will take action and also when you do take action you'll have all that information that you learned like over the over the course of time that you spent like watching all these self-improvement videos trust me it's never a waste of time and even if you never do anything with it it's a better use of time than like playing video games or doing some like dumb shit that like wouldn't get you anywhere anyway. So watch like actually like long videos, like long descriptive, boring videos. Get, learn to like them. Learn to like them. Trust me, bro. Like you, you will be thanking me. If you stick to it, you start liking these videos. You start watching these long podcasts. I promise you, you will be thanking me later. You'll be like, thank you so much, Xavier. I learned so much from watching all these videos and now I'm a freaking G. You'll be thanking me later. Trust me, do it. Watch long podcast videos. It will work in your favor. Also, read books as well. Start with the podcast because they're a little bit less boring. But after, read, start reading books and actual like educational books, not this like, you know, freaking Diary of Wimpy Kid or something. <laughs> I know I kind of went on and on a little bit, but this is something very important. This is some, This is probably like one of the main factors, if not the main factor that has gotten me like learning the most stuff about self-improvement and getting to where I am now. I'm in a very good place in my life right now, even though I'm not like in some like big mansion with some big cars or like, you know, you know what I'm saying? Like living like the, that kind of life. I'm, I'm happy. I'm happy. And I've really never felt truly this alive in my life. After like 17 years of living, I've never quite truly felt like this good since like I was a child. Like I'm starting to get that like childhood feeling back, you know, like learn, like going on the self-improvement stuff, like stop wasting so much time, like enjoying the simple stuff in life, like enjoying making my own thing, like making pro progress in life. Like I've, I haven't felt this like childlike in a while. And these podcasts are definitely one of the most contributing factors to how I got here, to where I'm at right now, in a very short amount of time. I've gotten to where I'm at in a very short amount of time, four months. I started this whole like journey thing like four months. I'm doing good, I'm doing fantastic. And of course I fail a lot of the time. We're all gonna fail. Don't get discouraged if you go on a self-improvement journey and you like continue to fail. It's tough, especially if you were in like a bad position Self-improvement is going to be tough at first, or maybe even for a little while. But once you finally get into the rhythm of things, it gets so much better. And, like, your life without any kind of, like, drugs or alcohol, any of that stuff, you'll feel just, like, at a different level, like, the whole time. Like, a different level of, like, happiness, kind of. Or, like, resting, like, happiness. Like, you'll just be naturally happy most of the time. But anyway, guys, thank you guys for listening to today's video. I know it went on a little about a little bit more than like what the video should have like mostly been about, but I hope that like some of the stuff I've told you can actually like really help you because you know when I was like first starting this journey, I kind of wish there was more people telling me this kind of stuff. So I just want to pass off my information so you guys can hopefully like get into it a little bit faster, a little bit easier. Just like sharing like the mistakes I've made and like what I should have done and all that kind of thing. But thank you guys for watching today's video, and I'll see you all in the next one.